explosive headlines from Washington. At the Senate office building, the Pearl Harbor inquiry opens. Quietly standing by are retired Rear Admiral Kimmel and Lieutenant General Short, who held command at Pearl Harbor. A joint congressional committee headed by Senator Alvin Barkley begins its investigation. First witnesses are Colonel Bernard Thielen of the Army General Staff and Rear Admiral T.B. Inglis, Chief of Naval Intelligence. Reporters hear Colonel Thielen testify that no Army aircraft were ready to fight when the enemy came, although it had been shown that we knew of the Japs' plan to attack us six months before Pearl Harbor. Admiral Inglis reveals that 95% of Navy enlisted men were aboard their ships on the morning of December 7th. The groundwork is laid for more sensational revelations. 